Now, um, you mentioned playing sports as a kid, I guess, right before you really got into the streets. Um, I always hear a lot of stories from people from Compton playing baseball, playing all these sports. Which parks did you play sports I at? I played at Wilson Park, right there in my neighborhood. Like we had Wilson Park on our side, they had Oaks Park on the other side, on the, on the Oaks Park side. Wilson Park was like shit, just a half, I just walk out the street half a block, I can go to the corner and look right there and see the park. After the killing of Bullet in 1978, um, it seems historically gang conflict goes to a whole nother level citywide. Uh, you lived through that era. Yeah, but see, really, really it was like, I say, Santana, Front Hood, Santana, and I say Santana and Front Hood, we had it the worst. But really, Santana then Front Hood, because like Santana, we the only Crips really even on the East Side like that, off of Rosecrans. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, off of Rosecrans, you had Campanella Park Pie Rules, West Side Pie Rules, Fruit Town Pie Rules, Cedar Block Pie Rules. You, then you got motherfucking uh, Am Street and Luther's Park before the mob because the mob just turned uh, from Luther's Park to the mob. But I really consider, I still consider all that Luther's Park because that's how I, what I grew up with. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Um, Santana is the only crip set that's on Rosecrans. Yeah. And on all sides, to to the west you got the Fruit Towns. On the south, we have Treetop Elm, and then Looters and Mob to the east. Yeah. Um, what was that like? <laughs> fun. <laughs> For us, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, we was gangsters, man. You know what I'm saying? We, see, we, we was, we was front-line motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? We the ones that go out there. Wherever we catch a, catch a motherfucker with a red rag, a ran red, we jumping out the car. We, whatever we gonna do, we gonna do it, man. We, it's just that, man, we had to be hard to be, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't be soft, homie. You know what I'm saying? We had to be hard to be on Rosecrans like that because if we wasn't, they would have just ran over us. Now, even though there's a lot of power rules on that side, there are a couple of the crip sets um, on the east side. And, and tell me, maybe some of these came out later, but... Kelly Park was not too far from y'all. No, that, that, that's far from us. You think so? Kelly Park, <laughs> as far as as far as banging, yeah. it ain't like they could, could be here shooting and come help us. You know, Kelly Park way on the other side of Londra. And then Atlanta Drive even a little further. And then Atlanta Drive is further down. <laughs> then you got in, in neighborhood right next to Kelly Park. Then you got South Side. You know what I'm saying? You got you got South Side because right back then Kelly Park wasn't. I don't even know if they was established yet back then. But I know for sure that the South Sides used to kick it with us tough. The, ne the uh, neighborhoods used to kick it with us tough. And the Atlantic Drives used to kick it with us. We was tight like this. You know what I'm saying? We used to go bust on power rules together every time. You know what I'm saying? It was like we was one big fucking family, man. And back then, like... Santana was the most known gang in Compton because we put, was kicking up so much ruckus and shit, we had the news stations in the hood all the time. And, and man, it was, man, and you had guys from different neighborhoods when they go to jail, motherfucker, were like, where you from? Oh, Santana. Because they know Santana was the most notarized in Compton. Now, was uh, Ducky Hood out back then? No, Ducky Hood, I think, I think Ducky Hood came out, yeah, I think Ducky Hood came out in about, 80, it's about between 78 and 80. And then what about uh, the, the Ward Lanes? Mm, I didn't really hear too much about them till later. Okay. So basically it was just uh, Southside, Neighborhood, Kelly Park, and Atlanta Drive. Yeah. And they was, they was Southeast. We was more, we was more, we was like Northeast. Yeah. And, and the only And all them, they was just bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? All them was within, like, shit, a, a quarter of a mile from each other. If anything, you know what I'm saying? So which which of those crip sets do you think y'all were the tightest with back then? We were tight with all of them. All of them. You know what I'm saying? They used to be in the hood all the fucking time. 
You know, all the time. We used to go house parties, party, man, all that. Now, in, in L.A., uh, the Crip Crip infighting starts in 79. You have the, the, the neighborhood Crips on the west side and the, uh, the Hoovers, and then you have the 60s and the 80s. Yeah, yeah. uh, when was the first time you seen Crip on Crip conflict? It's been in, uh, in fucking uh, when I was LP, Los Padrinos. You know all. You know what I'm saying? Because that was an unheard of crib on crib in Compton. You know, we might have a little fight or something, but never no killing or nothing. It was always fighting, okay, we cool. You know, it was never no fighting, then you got somebody getting killed. And all that killing, that, st that started in LA. Okay. <laughs> but at some point, it, it hits Compton too. Well, it really started in Compton. I'll say, ah. Uh, <sighs> What year was that, man? Was it like 81? I think it was 81, 82 when, when a Big Brim from uh, the South Side got killed, you know, supposed, supposedly by the Palmer Block right there in my neighborhood at the YMCA, right across the street from the park. It was a, it was a dance up there, and uh, Big Brim ended up getting shot and getting killed. And that started the whole, that started the, the real first conflicts of Compton on Compton, you know, Crips killing each other. And, and that was kind of, I guess, unheard of for yeah. you. Yeah, for everybody in Compton, because yeah. that ain't what we did. You know what I'm saying? Compton is Compton. You know what I'm saying? Compton is unique, man. You know what I'm saying? Because Compton is not really that big, and really damn near everybody know everybody. It's a whole lot of gangs in Compton, you know what I'm saying? But we still all, everybody damn near know everybody. L.A. is vast. You know what I'm saying? You way up east side, west side, see, you know what I'm saying? You could be over here and don't even never seen or heard or don't know no motherfucker from over there, but it ain't like that in Compton. So, you know, that's why L.A. can never really come together, period, because it's so big. Now, when, when that killing happened in Compton in 81, was there anyone trying to say, like, hold up, let's not turn this into a... You know, a set thing. Let's, we're not going to set trip on no, this. Shit, you got to set trip on the Motherfucker's <laughs> dead. Your homie dead. When somebody die, homie, ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it's just a fight or somebody gets shot and they don't die, then there's room for negotiation. There's room for trying to talk and trying to resolve the problem. Because that's what I do. I do the gang intervention. But when somebody get killed, you got to shut the fuck up and mag up, man. You got to let it play out. Cause I know my homie get killed, nigga. I ain't trying to hear this bullshit you talking. Uh, especially if if, if homeboy had brothers and family. It's, even if it's he, on. yeah, but even if he don't, the homies is gonna take over. Yeah. But when he do got brothers and family, and they from the hood too, oh man, you better not go over there talking about no uh, let's talk. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.